the end of the 1960s, Jim Rahn, using field effect transistors, was one of the first neuroscientists to record from single neurons in freely behaving animals. He began by recording hippocampal neurons in freely exploring rats, and after the discovery of play cells, Jim started to look for other spatially tuned cells. Jim discovered head direction cells in the mid-1980s. Found the cells. The cells are so obvious because I knew right away what they were doing. They can be quantified by plotting firing rate as a function of head direction. The group of head direction cells signals the internal sense of direction within an environment. Although the preferred direction of a head direction cell can't be predicted from one environment to another, the relative difference in tuning between head direction cells is a constant. The present work used a rotating arena to dissociate the environment into two spatial frames, one stationary and the other rotating. Would the internal sense of direction encode direction in the two frames? To ensure that the rat was aware of both spatial frames, we recorded the cells while the rats performed a two-frame active avoidance task. While foraging for scattered food, they avoided a stationary location of shock as well as a rotating location of shock, here marked red and blue for clarity. But for the rat, the locations were identified by stationary room cues and rotating arena cues. We first made sure that rats could solve this task and were expert at it. We recorded from head direction cells in the medial entorhinal cortex, while rats solved two versions of the task. In one version, the arena was stable, in the other, it was rotating. As expected, during the stable task, head direction cells show directional tuning, but directional tuning was degraded during arena rotation. The tuning returned during the subsequent stable condition, indicating the cells had been recorded just fine. Although the rat was navigating expertly, from the population discharge of the cells, it was no longer possible to accurately decode the direction the head was pointing, despite accurate decoding when the arena was stable. Directional tuning may have degraded during rotation, but all neural discharge relationships between head direction cells were maintained across the stable and rotating conditions. This was confirmed by measuring head direction according to an internal reference, the preferred direction of a single head direction cell. Indeed, internally registered head direction was preserved across all recordings. The internal sense of direction was undisturbed. So how does this make sense? On the one hand, the internal sense of direction is well preserved, but on the other hand, it's unstable with respect to the world in which the animal has to navigate. In other words, it's not at all compass-like. So how could these cells be used to navigate? Jim Rock used to give his trainees this book and tell them about the Caroline Islanders, who would navigate the Pacific without a compass. The ETAC navigation system works something like this. The navigator first takes a bearing, orienting to a distant star and a reference landmark. For example, an island that can be seen or imagined. The navigator then travels, performing egocentric path integration until the current position lines up with the reference island and another star. The navigator then reorients the direction sense to the new star, takes a fix and performs path integration again. Navigation proceeds in these stages, reorienting the direction sense intermittently to distinct external landmarks. Could the rats be using a similar system? We examined how long the internally referenced system of directionality maintains. During rotation, directionality only maintained about 10 seconds before degrading selectively in the arena frame. This indicates that every 10 seconds or so, the rat would reorient to an external room frame cue. This video shows what the room frame looks like from the vantage point of the arena. And when we decode the rat's head direction from the population activity of head direction cells, we notice that the error is minimal at the edge of the striped cloth, at the doll, and at the entrance to the curtain. These data show that, like the Pacific Islanders, navigation in the rat is fundamentally egocentric. The internally organized sense of direction is projected onto externally referenced landmarks. And between bouts of path integration that are based on internally generated information, the navigator periodically updates the projection into the external world. We think of navigation in terms of allocentric location because of the way we draw maps. We can also draw maps in terms of egocentric head direction. The Caroline Islanders draw their maps in terms of head direction. Both are correct. 
What is the most appropriate for other animals? For instance, animals that can fly in 3D. What would be the most appropriate? It is yet to be determined. <laughs>